Peace for them back with another one. This is gonna be a special one for me. This is a, a memory or an honorable one for me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna touch on I'm gonna touch on a brother that was close to me. You know what I mean? I met this brother almost 20 years ago, you know, uh tragic story, but we're gonna turn that story into a positive on this one, you know. And so I brought, you know what I mean, someone close to bro with me on this one, you know, and I wanna give his sister, you know what I'm saying, a chance to get his brother's story. So I'm gonna fall back, sister. Introduce yourself, you know, mind let the people know who you are, where you're from, and it's it's your world. All right. I am Sherelle. I am Courtney Parks' sister. Uh, grew up, born and raised in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I actually moved to Dallas six years ago. So I've been out here thugging it out, doing what I do. Uh, I know Courtney was born in, in Texas, and I had told him before he even passed, I was like, I'm moving to Dallas. I don't know what you getting ready to do, but I can't stay here. So this was already in my little plans and he already knew, you know, what it was going to be. I think he was going to move also here too. So, and I've just been over here chilling. All right. So oh, let me, I got to learn how to do this thing. I'm, I'm still, <laughs> up, so forgive me. But uh, Okay. So you were born here. He was born in Texas. Uh, yeah. You the oldest, right? Oh yeah. Okay. So, when did your family move to Texas and, and how long were y'all there before y'all came back? I don't think we ever moved to Texas. If we did, uh, it was very brief. Okay, you so, said you were born there, so I mean, like, how did that happen? Oh, man, according to the story, so when we was here, because most of his family is here, like his stepdad, I'm I, I'm with his, I'm with, I mean, not his stepdad, but I'm with his dad, like, all the time, so we supposed to go fishing today. Uh, but most of his, their family is here. And so I'm trying to figure out what happened. He ended up being born here in the parking lot at the hospital. So he didn't even make it into the, into the hospital. He was in the parking lot. So he a parking lot baby. Uh, and I think we was probably here maybe just like weeks, but we would always travel here every weekend kind of thing and visit the family or whatever. So Basically, his side of the family is my my side of the family took me in. So I consider them my family because I've been with them since I was two. So yeah. and his dad raised me. So. So y'all went. So he went to school. Both of y'all went to school down here then, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We was there. We was in Texas just brief and then came back to Tulsa. And that's where we've been at ever since. So until uh with 20 well i've been in 2017 so so i mean let's let's talk about growing up in tulsa and how was it growing up down here yeah ah, man uh let's see so i was on the west side we uh was in uh south haven i don't know if you heard of them mm -hmm. okay we was there so we stayed on that side we stayed north a little bit on uh Apache and Exanthus and uh, went to Madison. I don't know. Well, it ain't Madison Middle School no more, but I forgot what the name of it is. But we was we was there and then we moved to Broken Arrow. 2000. Yeah, 2000. So and then we went to Broken Arrow schools. OK. Uh, I mean, like. I want to know more. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna talk about the good and, and I mean the good times with him. So like, oh yeah, tell us some 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 good funny memories like when y'all were growing up. You know what I mean? Like, was he was how how was he as a child? Was he a good child? You know what I mean? Did he get in trouble? <laughs> like you know? Oh yeah, he first of all he was a crybaby. Uh, second of all he would always get in trouble at school. So I remember one day <laughs> he would always get in trouble because he was taking stuff from the teacher's desk and bringing it home, saying that the teachers gave it to him. And so uh, one day they had a teacher parent conference and figured out now nah, he was in there stealing from the teacher's desk and stuff and bringing it home. So he caught that ass whooping. I don't know if I can say that, but uh, yeah, you then, uh, <laughs> he got on my nerves like every day. So it was only just me and him. So, but I know if one day I'm like, if we eating or whatever, and it's something I don't like. I would be like, Mama wants you, or Clarence wants you, your daddy wants you. And he'll yeah. go run over there and go to, and I put all the food on his plate. 
And then I'll be ready. I'll be like, all right, I'm about to go outside. You better hurry up, eat your food. <laughs> <laughs> I do stuff like that. And then like um he always he he just played too goddamn much anyway. So I'll be like, look, bro, you better go on. You better go on. I didn't hear him up a couple of times. You know, we had our good days, we had our bad, we fought like anybody else. And uh I think when we got like 18, 19, I moved out and then he came and stayed with me over at uh, what's those apartments called? They they changed them to Union something now. Observation Point, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he stayed with me over there for a little bit. Damn near burnt the house down. Don't ask how. I don't know, <laughs> but all I know was we saw the smoke coming out from outside. I'm like, what the fuck is you out here doing? Like. You know, he smoked cigarettes and shit back in, too. So I think what he did was he had it was partially lit. So, you know, it was wood over there. So yeah. I was like, man, you, you're killing me. You're killing me. But we thugged it out. Shit, we ain't had no electricity one day. We was in the car chilling, charging our phones up and shit and waiting until electricity came back on. So we did a lot of shit. <laughs> I remember, uh, like I said earlier, that was, I think, like, 2006 2007 when me and him met you know what i mean working in the mall yeah and uh i remember like just the laughs his energy you know what i'm saying yeah. like, his character his charisma you know what i'm saying he was just right a happy attention sinking uh, attention sinking that, that was my dude like you know like <laughs> we even had our moments to where like him being from where he was from me being from where i was from like yeah. Anybody from where he was from was tripping with me, he had my back. And if anybody from where I was from was tripping, I had his back. You know what I mean? Right, so, right, right. That became like a real brother to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, my very first tattoo, he got it for me. Like, okay. I mean, he was working at, uh, I think it was Popeyes. And we Man. Was working at Popeyes. <laughs> me, him, and Terrence. And me, me him, Man. and Terrence. Man. Don't get me started on Popeyes. <laughs> I remember every week he would get a tattoo with his check. Yeah, he got paid to get a tattoo. You know what I'm saying? And yep. They was like, "Rich, you want to go and get a tattoo?" And I'm like, uh, "I ain't got no money." He's like, "Come on, I got you." So we we go. And he was like, "What you want?" And I didn't know what to think of. You know what I mean? Cause <laughs> I ain't never had a tattoo. It was my first one. You know what I'm saying? So I have to honor that. I mean, cause I got seven now, but my first one was because of him. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. My initials and my colors. You know what I'm saying? But like that was my goal. You know what I'm saying? And so like. All our members like is his happy spirit, you know what I'm saying? He yeah, always had a high energy, you know what I'm saying? About him, he was always in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? When I'm when I met him, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, I get pissed off, you know what I'm saying? And I've seen him angry, but for the most part, he was just a happy person, right? Right, you know what I'm oh, yeah, he was liked by everybody, he everybody, dude, you know what I mean? He was a good dude, oh, know? yeah, oh, yeah, he'll stop, he'll help, he'll help people in need, definitely for sure. So I know that for a fact. and just being around him constantly. And even though he had plethora of females and stuff, you know, he was he was still doing his thing and helping out in the streets where he could and trying to get, you know, trying to live the life and get in and where he fit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. uh, I remember when I started, I remember, all right, even before then, I'm, I'm gonna go back further than that. We, when we, like I said, we worked in the mall together and I remember, like, we would talk about creating, like, a Black Panther-type organization, me and him. <laughs> we were talking about how we wanted to do for the people, you know what I mean? Create, like, this right. like, Black power, Black political-type structure type. Right. Thing. We didn't know what we were talking about, but we wanted to create something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something. You know what I mean? And, like, I remember uh, I called him. I, this is after he had his daughter. I remember I called him and was like, hey, bro, I'm on that path now. I finally found <laughs> a way, you know what I mean? I told him, like, I wanted to I was getting there and I wanted to get him involved, you know what I mean? Right. And he was excited for me, you know what I'm saying? And then I maybe it was a couple days, a couple weeks later, but that's when I found out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that messed me up. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that day, that day, shh, I was at work, but I was talking to him, I think up until that time. And so, uh, because at the time we we lived together, so mm -hmm. we were still living at Observation Point at the time. But 
the crazy part with that story is when I stayed in the apartments, I was in the same apartment that he had ended up getting after me. Mm. And so I ended up staying with him. <laughs> and so it just reversed, you know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what was we doing? I was at work and uh, I was talking to him and now he was because he was trying to get, you know, trying to get his own business, do his own welding business because, you know, he went to school mm -hmm. for that welding. Yeah, yeah. I think y'all went to school together, didn't y'all? Yeah, 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 okay. we, we, yeah. Yeah. So uh, he wanted to, you know, do his own little business or whatever. And I was talking to him about it or whatever. And I was like, well, you know, when I get home, just send me out, give me the stuff and I'll print it off or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. And so I think at that time I was texting him. He didn't text back. Mm -hmm. So I get home and uh, I asked Jesse, I was like, you know, you heard from Gordon? And she asked me, have I heard? I'm like. Now, I ain't heard from him since earlier. I don't know where he is. I thought, you know, I thought he was here at the house and woo, woo, woo. And so then, you know, my mama called, you know, with the story and, and you know, we we sitting there and we was just like, nah, because I was just talking to this motherfucker, you know. That's I'm at work. Yeah, I, I couldn't believe that, not him. Right, right. He, but he, thank, the thing is, too, with that is prior, even prior to that incident, and I told him, you know, I was like, you need to get up out there because what you need that for? You don't need to do that if you got a job, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And um, he had there was an incident before where somebody tried to, you know, rob him at gunpoint over some work. I didn't know that. Yeah. And so uh, this was probably. I want to say it was probably like a few weeks before. Mm hmm. And so I, you know, I told him, I'm like, man, you need to get about that stuff because that could have been your life. You know what I'm saying? You got spared. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's when he went and told Terrence, no, not Terrence, but uh, told CJ and them what happened and whoop de woo woo. Mm -hmm. Now what happened with that? I don't know, but I just know that situation happened. And I told him, I'm like, you need to get about the game. You know, you, you, you got what you need. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Don't get greedy. Just leave it alone. Yeah. Dead. So, but, uh, yeah, I think that happened. I don't know if it happened more than once, but I know that was a story that he shared with me. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, nah, you need, you need to just leave it alone. You got a kid now. You know what I'm saying? You got to be here for her. Yeah, she looked just like him when I went with when she, when she was running these pockets up too, boy. <laughs> <laughs> running them up. <laughs> we I had her two weeks last week. I just dropped off and took her back to the took her back to us. So I was like, you got to go now. <laughs> but that's my little baby. I make sure she good. So I'm my brother's keeper. If he ain't here, I'm gonna make sure I do that for him. So me like when you got that phone call, like you said, your mom called and told you what happened. I mean, yeah, of course, to this day, I still can't believe it, you know what I mean? Because he wasn't right, he wasn't a bad person. Mm -mm. No, there's, not there's, there's, there's wicked people out here that's in that lifestyle, you know what I mean? And, and some right. people say they deserve it, you know what I mean? But he wasn't one of those that deserved it, right? You know, what I'm all he's trying to do is just make that money, that's it. But like you know, making making that cash and that fast money come with a lot of other stuff. So it's yeah. like you live by the store, you're gonna die by it. It's how I see it. But I just hate that he didn't get out quick enough to, you know, and listen to big sis <laughs> when I, I was trying to give him some, you know. Like like me and it just got me thinking, cause like meeting him, meeting TV. Them brothers were so cool. Yeah. And I literally spoke to both of them before before both incidents happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I was working at McDonald's on Admiral and seeing TV in the drive through. Mm-hmm. Saying we we chopped it up and then like a couple of days later, that incident happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I had just got off the phone with Courtney and it was like, what the hell type thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing these people talking to him. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, one day you're in that day, you're going like the song say, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So cherish those moments, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because I know I know Courtney was fucked up about that with Turner's situation. And 
excuse me. Um, I know he was fucked up about that situation, and because you know they was real close or whatever. And then you know Lawrence was with Terrence at that time too. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think if I don't if I don't recall, he was talking about I should have been there. I should have been there, and you know he he was fucked up about that for a few for a few. And I think there was an incident at the house where uh, I think he said him and Jesse. They came to the house and they saw like all the cabinets open in the house, in the kitchen. And so I was like, "Well, shit, I ain't been there. You know, I don't know what happened." Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he he was he he he's beat up behind that. Him, I know him and CJ. And so, um, uh, even then, I think I probably told him, you know, it's time, it's time to shut all that down. You know what I'm saying? Even though that was wrong place, wrong time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, still, you still got to got to get your life together too. You know, so you know what I'm saying, and like I said, I know, I know this wasn't really something that you really wanted to get on here and do. So like, we had 17 minutes. You know what I mean? So we good with that. If you want to, you know what I mean? Like I said, I appreciate you. If you want, no, to, you can go a little more if you want to. You know what I mean? Uh, like I do, I do want to know. You know what I mean? How has it affected? How has it affected y'all since? You know what I mean? Man, uh, it's been, it's been, it's been a, it's been a, a journey. Let's just say that. Um, uh, just trying to live your life, you know, and go on about life, and not go down those dark paths, and just trying to, like you say, honor the memories and just be grateful and be happy and be you know, present mm-hmm. because that's another reason why I was like, I got to get out of Oklahoma because I'm, I'm going through dark paths and I don't want to be on those dark paths. So, you know, I had to do what I need to do for me and my, you know, healing to get my journey going. And so my mom, she still to this day, you know, she, she'll have her little days or whatever. And, uh, yeah, baby. Yeah. yeah. So, and that definitely was her baby because shit. He got away with every goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I'll get my ass whooped. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, she she still be having her days and I think she went to therapy because at, at a point she wasn't going to sleep and uh they had to put on like some insomnia uh medicines and uh she yeah, I think she I don't know if she's still going to therapy now, but I know she was going at a time and mm-hmm. she was on, you know, medication just to get her some sleep. So, uh, see, that's not cool. Right. So I think now she's doing a little better, but she still be having her days. And, uh, I be telling her, I be like, you know, I be, I be feeling the presence and shit like that. So now that I'm on my spiritual journey, and my eyes are a little bit more open, you know, I get messages and shit. So mm-hmm. I, I, me, I'm good. Cause I know I'm protected. Like you say, you know, and I know he with me 24 seven. So but <laughs> I, I don't be tripping. So, but if, some I can people, you, if I can ask you, you know what I mean? If you want to do like a, we can do like a close. If I can ask you as someone who has lost someone close to you, I, I know there's other people across the world, you know what I mean? And, this is my mm-hmm. first time asking what I'm about to ask, but like, is there a message that you want to give to people, you know what I mean? Like, or to anyone that may, that can relate, or you know what I mean? Anyone that may be going through, trying to be out here, you know what I mean? Trying to live a fast life, you know what I mean? You being a big sister, you know what I mean? Hey, I, I try to tell my little brother, you know, this is what happened. Yeah. Just listen and take heed. That's, that's mainly it. Take heed, you know, because people ain't going to just tell you. And, and and tell you just be telling you some shit, you know, because I've told my brother plenty of times I tried to help him, but it's gonna be up to you if you really want to get out that life. And it's okay, you know, ain't nobody gonna judge you or you know, I know with the men's side, you know, they get judged a lot because of, you know, how they do things and oh, you can't do that, oh you weak, oh, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't even about that. It's about trying to maintain a healthy life and getting your life together so that you can be here, you know, for your family members or for your kids. Um, and just get right. That's it. 
It's the fast yeah. money ain't all good money. <laughs> when you just said that, it made me think about all the fathers that, that all my homies I done lost in the last couple of years off fitting off. And that's a whole nother subject, but I'm thinking about like how your niece or just other these children losing their parents, you know. Yes, I mean? young. You know what I'm saying? Into these drugs, you know what I'm saying? And we gotta do that as a community, as a people, we do. as a nation, as a race, or whatever we want to call ourselves. You know what I mean? We yeah, we in a we in a bad position and we die. Oh, yeah. We 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 dying fast. Quick and young. Yeah. Very young. Under 25. So yeah, yeah. at some time I'm seeing the worst 13 year olds, 12 year olds killing. Yeah. Oh yeah. I've so, seen a couple of stories. I've seen a couple of stories. It's, it's <laughs> and I was like, that's crazy. It makes no sense. But like I said, I want to thank you, you know what I mean, for your time. Oh right? yeah. Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Yeah. I shoot. I just be everywhere, but here. So <laughs> Indeed, indeed, indeed. Mm. You got a smile on your face, you know what I'm saying? Man, uh, that's the best you can wear right now. Shoot, yeah. the way the world going now. Man, it's, it's living and living. Dark times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So thank, you. so thank you again, sister. And once I get this put together, I'll be sending it out to you, you know what I mean? And okay. We'll, I'll put it up and let you give me your okay on it. Okay, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, I be. I mean, if I ain't working, I'm somewhere else. And if I ain't somewhere else, I'm working. <laughs> we getting to it though. I'm glad to see you out the way. So I'm, I'm. Thank you again. Oh, you appreciate. It. Appreciate. It. Be blessed. Okay. Okay. Peace. Bye.